Hello guys, in today's episode I'm going to show you an easy way to sync files between uh, two or three machines, whether they, they were a Linux, a Mac, or a Windows machine, it all works together. I, us I used to use Ubuntu One on my Linux Mint, but the problem was it was buggy, and sometimes it wouldn't connect or it wouldn't sync, and if I, if I wanted to change my uh, accounts, it would not work unless I had to in uninstall Ubuntu One and go out and uh, delete my configuration files and reinstall Ubuntu One and blah 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 blah. So, um, so I found a better alternative to Ubuntu One. It's called Dropbox and uh, it's it, you can install it on Windows, Linux, or a Mac. So that's the uh, an advantage. One advantage of Dropbox and the second advantage I found is that it transfers files at a lot faster pace. I mean, let's say you wanted to uh, upload a five, six hundred megabyte file. Uh, it would take on my thirty megabit connection on Ubuntu One. It used to take, let's say, an hour. On Dropbox, it takes half an hour to upload the file. So actually, it works a lot faster. So here's how to get it. You go on uh, the, their website, which is dropbox.com. Let me zoom in. www.dropbox.com. <clears throat> and uh, see what it says. It says free for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Just click on the Linux one. And uh, download whatever version you use. In my case, I'm using Lexmint 8, so uh, I'm going to download them to 9.10 x86 because I'm on a 32-bit OS. If you are on a 30, uh, I mean 64-bit OS, you'd have to download the 64-bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and download it. me to reinstall because I do I already do have it installed so in your case just install it if you don't have it just install it and, uh, and follow and then open your menu and go to the internet and you'll find it there just follow the simple instructions there create a free 2 gig account you could you could uh, pay for extra space but I don't the extra space, I don't need extra space because what I do is I synchronize small files or pictures or, you know, small documents. So, but if you use it to back up your uh, entire system on it or to actually transfer big files, videos and stuff, you could pay uh, for the upgrade, which is, I think, the 50 megabytes. Yeah, I did log into my account, and as you can see, you could pay for extra space. So you can upgrade. And yep, the pro is ten dollars a month. You could get the fifty uh, gigs for ten dollars a month. Uh, the basic free one, you you get two gigs with the potential of getting three extra gigabytes. Um, if I go back to home. You could see get extra free space over here. You could get extra free space if you 
actually um, if uh, you actually do uh, send the uh, what do you call it the link to your friends, which is uh, the referral link you provide you with. So if you refer to your, if you refer to friends, you get 250 megabytes extra, up to three gigs max. So let's say you referred one friend, I get 250 uh, megabytes extra, and you get uh, 250 megabytes extra. So I'm going to post my refer uh, referral link on uh, the description if you guys would like to help out and uh, give me more space because currently I only have uh, two gigs, so it'd be a mutual benefit thing. Anyway, um, let me exit out of this website. So. Here's, here's drop the Dropbox folder. You see, oh, it's under your home. And you can see it in the Dropbox folder. So you, if you double click it, you can see whatever is synced. You get a green or blue check mark depending on your theme. Anyway, so you just drag and drop the files.